All right, this is Paul with Shirley Fabrication of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Uh, I'm doing something, a little something different today. Uh, I just want to come on and do a little Christmas video, uh, tell you a little bit about us, some things we believe in, uh, some things that we uh, celebrate every year, and uh, things that we do. Uh, first off, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Uh, I know there's this time of the year, there's many people that have difficult times because either they've lost loved ones or many other reasons. But uh, like my pastor said this morning, you know, we can get through that and have the peace peace about that through God. That's what we believe in, you know, and, and that's what we hang our hat on here in Alabama. But um, I just wanted to tell everybody again, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. We're going to do something a little different. I'm going to let... So we have a tradition in our house we've done the last 20 years that uh, uh, we read the Christmas story. And that's what I'm going to let Sharon read that. She's a better reader. She can read better than me. And I'm going to let her do that. And then I'll take take the camera, get the camera from her, and then give it back. And I'm going to finish some things I want to say. But uh, let me get the camera from Sharon right quick. I'm going to let her swap with me. By the way, this is a house I grew up in, too. Also, I grew up in this house. Uh Many traditions in this house. Uh, my mom and dad bought this house in 1953, and uh, my dad's master carpenter made it into what it is today. God rest his soul. And my mom's, I'm going to show you something here. This mantle here, this mantle was custom built by my dad. Can't really get a good view of it because of, uh, of uh, you know, with everything on it, but we, we hang our stockings there. There's been nail holes in there since I was a little child from 1961. So that's, uh, you know, still a tradition here in our house. Beautiful tree here, Sharon decorated. But I'm going to go ahead and let Sharon read for us. She's going to read a story for us. And then I'm going to get back on camera for a second. Okay, this is Luke chapter 2, verse 8 through 20. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph, and the babe lying in the manger. And when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. So is that the Christmas story, Sharon? That's the Christmas story. That's what Amen. we believe, isn't it? Yes, sir. Amen. Good deal. All right, grab this phone from me right quick. I'm going to let her grab the phone. I'm going to get back on camera right quick. <clears throat> All right, I'm back. She's a lot better to look at than I am, by the way. But uh, I just want to say thank you to all our customers, uh, everybody. You know, this company was founded probably 12, 14 years ago, and then... We got into doing cookers about a little over 10 years ago. Started out in a little bitty shop behind my house when my dad, who was a master carpenter, built it when I was six years old. Me and Tyler started there, built our first cooker, posted it online, then did some other things, did another cooker, posted it online, and then it just it just took off, you know. Uh, this company is founded on principles that we believe in, that we're going to be honest, we're going to be fair. We're going to run this business with integrity, do right by all people. I told Tyler years ago out there, I said, this is the way it's going to be. I said, if we make a mistake, you're going to 
fix it at your cost. You're going to fix it at your cost, and hopefully that'll eliminate you having to do that too many times. And that's what we all we've always done. We we're not a perfect people. We're not, but we try our best to do right by man. A man told me a long time ago said, "Paul, just do right by man," and and that's true. That that's that's that is the truth. We've tried to do that. Uh, we've tried to build a. I don't want to say a superior product because that's throwing. You know, I, that's just saying you're the best. I think we're the best. I certainly think we're one of the best. We try to build a product like we, when we look at it, like we would build for ourselves. Every build I personally do, I think about I'm cooking, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Tyler is a great design guy. I do more cooking than him. But we try our best to uh, think about the customer, think about what we would want, how it would work best, and then get customers' input. Uh, we're not know-it-alls. We have really tried, though, our very best to put out the best product that we can, and, and we're going to continue to do that. I turned this company over to Tyler about eight years ago, and he has done very well with it. He's uh, We built a shop, another shop out back. It was 45 by 85, I think. Me and him built that, had it built. He grew, outgrew that uh, d due to transportation problems, getting trucks in and out because I live in a residential area. He bought a place uh, now that's uh, two miles off, a mile and a half off the interstate. Trucks can get in there. He's able to, uh, hopefully he's going to be able to uh, cut lead times and stuff on things. But, you know, realize we're a small company, a custom company, custom cookers. We do things most of you guys, a lot of you guys have never even seen cookers that, I just don't have time. I do the social media stuff that I don't have time to go over there and take videos of. Many things have gotten out of there, but Tyler does a lot of industrial work, uh, a lot of plant. He does plant maintenance. He does a lot of other stuff just besides cookers. But although we do a lot of cookers, and hopefully we try to perfect something every year, come into a new cooker or like the 24 by 36 we came out with a few years back, a couple of years back, We've sold over, I think Tyler said the other day, it was close to 300 of those. So that has been a big, big hit. Uh, and I've got an idea on something coming up. I ran it by him, and he said, yeah, he thought that would work. It'd be good. It's just going to be an addition, uh, an add-on that I think will make a lot of sense, and uh, I think it, it'll be a winner in the end. Uh, so, But again, like I said, this company is founded on principles that we're going to stand by. We're not going to, if it starts wavering from that, it's just not going to keep going because we're going to stand by the principles that are true and correct to being right, you know, to doing right. But again, thank y'all. Uh, I thank every one of our customers and uh, many people that do stuff for us. I'm not even going to start calling out names. I will say this. I want to thank our veterans. You know, that is a big deal with me, a huge deal. Along with our firefighters, policemen, paramedics, first responders, and all that. But I really want to thank our veterans. You do not know how much I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I will be doing a build. Tyler's on board. Here we'll be starting it after the first year, probably February, late February, March, or February, somewhere around in there for uh, Midwest, Bar Bar Midwest Barbecue Outreach. They do tons and tons of cooks for veterans. Uh, and stuff, and we're building this cooker, no cost to them, I want them involved in it, because I want them to get what they want, uh, and I'm not just honking our horn, believe me, I'm not doing that, it's just, I believe that you should bless people when you've been blessed, and we have to totally been, been blessed, Chris, Matt, uh, Rick Budkett, uh, I, don't, I hate to start calling out names. Many more are involved. Kirk Ferris. Many more do those cooks. Uh, a lot of Shirley guys bring their cookers up and do that, just like the people in New York do. Chris McGinnis and you know Phil Ritz and all those guys do a ton. Uh, uh, Ryan Hoff. All those. So we are hooked up with a lot of veterans stuff going on, and we we're able to, to be able to bless people and help them, and that's what I want to do. Thank y'all again. I want to wish y'all a merry merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Uh, take time to you know reflect, love your family, spend time with your family, and enjoy the blessings that we have, still have in this country that is a right now still a free country. And I hope that remains forever. Uh, but there's a reason we have that is for people right now, while I'm sitting in this living room, we've got a guy or a gal uh, sitting on watch somewhere either in this country or another country, sitting on watch, 
maybe eating sea rations, I don't know, whatever, whatever they are, MREs or whatever, but they do not have the luxuries we have. We have these luxuries because we're hoping one off the back of them. And I thank God for each and every one of them. I hope if you know one, you send them, send them this video on YouTube and tell them, God, man, we thank y'all. We truly, you are not forgotten. We thank y'all and love y'all. But uh, again, have a blessed Christmas. Happy New Year uh, from Shirley Fabrication. Paul and Sharon, Shirley here too. Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Thank you, Sharon, for reading that. And uh, God bless you all.